Here we have some word problems that have to do with uh, quadratic equations. The first one says, a rock is thrown skyward from the top of a tall building. The distance in feet between the rock and the ground t seconds after the rock is thrown is given by distance equals negative 16 t squared minus 4t plus 442. How long after the rock is thrown is it 430 feet from the ground? So if you just want to visualize this, you're on top of a building, here's the ground down here, you throw a rock skyward, so it's going to go up and it's going to fall back down. And you should recognize this general shape if we continue it on the right. What you've got is a parabola, right? So it makes sense that we've got a quadratic looking uh, formula here. So um, the question is how long after the rock is thrown is it 430 feet from the ground? So what we're doing is we're solving for t when d equals 430 feet. So let's sub in 430 for d. So 430 equals negative 16t squared minus 4t plus 442. And we'll subtract 430 from both sides to set this equal to 0. And we'll get negative 16t squared minus 4t plus 12 equals 0. And to solve for t, of course, we're going to have to uh, you know, solve for the roots of this quadratic equation. I think the first thing I'm going to do here is, is take out a 4. Everything is divisible by 4 here. So I can kind of just pull that out and throw it away. Um, so I would get, actually, I'm going to take out a negative 4 here. It might be easier if I do that. I would end up with 4t squared plus t minus 3 equals 0. Now, this looks like it might be easier to solve. I don't think I'm going to be able to factor that easily, so I'm just going to quickly try the, the quadratic equation, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. And 4ac is going to be 16 times, that's going to be 48. Aha, so this is looking good because I've got 49 under my radical sign. And that's over 2a, which would be 8. So I'm going to end up with negative 1 plus or minus 7 over 8. And let's see, negative 1 minus 7. So that would be negative 8 over 8. Or it would be positive 6 over 8. So it's either negative 1 or 3 fourths. And since we're looking at um, uh, the, the time here, it's not going to be a negative time. So 3 fourths, 6 eighths, 3 fourths of a second looks like our answer. All right, let's try the next one. This one says the product of two consecutive positive integers is 359. So two consecutive positive integers. So that would be x, and this is the product, so we'd multiply them times x plus 1. x the plus 1 makes that the next consecutive integer. It says is 359 more than the next integer. Well, the next integer would be x plus 2, and it's 359 more than that. Uh, so we could add 359 onto here. OK, so we've got some work to do here. Let's go ahead and multiply this x through. So we get x squared plus x. And then over here, we get um, x plus 361. So. Um, we're going to subtract an x from both sides, and we get x squared equals 361. That's nice. And then we would take the square root of both sides. And I'm going to ignore the negative answer because we're told they're positive integers in the beginning of the problem. And let's see. Ah, 361 uh, is a, a perfect square, so x equals 19. But let's wait a second. Um, before we say we're done, because it says, what is the largest of the three integers? When I solve for x, that's the smallest of the three. The largest of the three is x plus 2. They're consecutive integers. So our answer is going to be 21. All right, one more. This one says the perimeter of a rectangular concrete slab is 82 feet, and its area is 330 square feet. What is the length of the longer side of the slab? So it looks like we're going to need to make two equations here. A perimeter of a rectangle would be 2L plus 2W equals, and what did they say, 82 feet. And the area would just be length times width equals 330. And I think maybe the approach I'll take here is to 
solve this for L and uh, by dividing both sides by W and then sub, sub it back in up here and see what happens. So here the W's cancel. I get L equals 330 over W. So let's take this and put it in right there. So I've got 2 times 330 over W plus 2W equals 82. And I think what I would probably do next, um, actually it might be easiest right now to divide everything by 2 because I've got a factor of 2 there, a factor of 2 there, and I, this is divisible by 2. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let me put it up over here. That would just make 330 divided by W plus W equals 41. And then because I've got W on the bottom here of a fraction, I'm going to multiply everything by W. That would make 330 over W become just 330. It would make that W squared. And it would make this 41W. And when I do a little rearranging there, I would get W squared minus 41W equals, oh, sorry, plus 330 equals 0. That's my quadratic. And that one looks a little complicated, but it occurs to me that factors here, um, 330 would be 10, it would be 11 times 30, right? Yeah, 11 times 30. And 11 and 30, if they're both negative here, would add up to a negative 41. So I think, I, I think I, we've got the factors here. So x minus 11 and x minus 30, which would make uh, our roots 11 and 30. And those are gonna, actually going to be the, the lengths of the sides of our rectangle. And they wanted the longer side of the slab, so the answer there would be 30. So those are some word problems with uh, quadratic equations.